I was sitting there twiddling me thumbs, like looking. Like, I was like, bruh, don't make me miss my train. Hey, your time. I've stopped at Espresso House for pastry and coffee. I don't know what is in this, but this choco orange latte is so good. Mm. Love it. I love the combination of chocolate and orange, so this is right up my street. When we take our time, stay under the covers, yeah. in Bremen which is a museum that is quite highly rated so I'm excited to go normally on Mondays they're closed but I emailed them and they said they're open for the holidays on Monday so I mean that's amazing like it worked out perfectly so yeah I'm heading there now also because I'm really really cold so I would like to be indoors right now <laughs> Can I just say, I checked the weather app yesterday and it said that today in Bremen it would be a bit warmer with temperatures up to 8 degrees Celsius. I checked the weather app again like right now and it says <laughs> feels like minus 6 degrees Celsius because the wind is making it feel colder. So thanks for lying to me weather app yesterday. <laughs> Here we are, this massive spaceship looking thing. So I'm in the Schnorr quarter right now. Schnorr means string, by the way. Some of these streets are so narrow, like, <laughs> but it's so cool. It's really beautiful here as well, so. Oh my god, guys, look at that. So it's fish with potato and kale. So I kind of just stumbled onto this um, restaurant and I found out that it was highly rated on Google Maps. So it's like, yeah, sure, why not? And those of you who know me, like, I don't really love seafood, but I think this will be good. Have a tea now? Okay. So I'm in the main city square right now and this is sort of known to be one of the most beautiful squares in Europe. You can see like all the medieval architecture. There's the church right there. And that's the town hall. Don't you think it's strange what's going on?
crazy. We did it again, baby. Oh my god, I'm actually freezing. Hey, you're tired. Lots of things to see and do actually, like I was not expecting how much there was to see and do. And even if it's a great day trip idea from even as far as Hamburg, I think you can definitely spend like a couple days there. I think two days is a comfortable time as well for Bremen. I think there's really quite a lot to do. Yeah, it's super beautiful, very quaint. There's a lot of like old, like these quaint neighborhoods. And I ended off the night at this Italian restaurant for dinner, which was which was nice. And I caught for the bill, and the guy took more than 10 minutes to come with the bill. I mean, to be fair, like, they were quite understaffed. It was just two of them working, like, a full restaurant. I was literally, like, I needed to get to the train station. I needed to get the tram. I was looking at google maps literally counting by the minute like when the tram would come and because he took so long for the bill like i missed a tram and i had to get on like the very very last one if not i was literally going to miss my train back to hanover and i was sitting there twiddling me thumbs like looking like is and and you know he'd be serving like drinks and you know whatever attending to other tables i was like bruh don't make me miss my train and i literally made it to the platform at the hauptbahnhof like four minutes to my actual departure honestly i hate rushing for trains so much but thankfully i made it so i didn't have to make arrangements alternative ones so yeah but all in all it was a really lovely day in bremen and if you get the chance you should definitely go stay there for at least a night if you can so i'll see you next time Why? i don't actually know if i've ever tried marzipan here we go hmm 